once people are here and they cross over, there's not a real screening process in terms of like who's a criminal, what what your history is in your country of origin. Ooh. Yeah, you want to get a weird Google thing. Google how many known people on the terror watch list have made it across. And uh, it'll scare the crap out of you. So Department of Homeland Security and uh, the FBI, you know, we have this, these gigantic lists of people that are on terror watch lists, criminal watch lists. And the number of those that we have captured at the border of obviously is just going to be a drop in a bucket of those that have made it across. And, um, you know, it is in light of what just happened in Israel, where, you know, they flew paragliders over borders, over walls, and they, they crashed through walls, and then they were able to kill 1,400 people in one day. And then you look at the number, and that was that was 1,000 insurgents total. Um, and then you look at the number of people that have been coming over the border for the past three years that we know are radicalized, that we know are on watch lists. Um, it is... Uh, it, it is. It should scare the pants, like to scare the scare you to death. The position that we're at, we're gonna have a real bad year. God damn it! Yeah. Department of Homeland uh, Security and the FBI yesterday they talked about a bunch of known terrorist cells that are currently not operating. They are operating, but they're they are looking for opportunities, targets of opportunity to conduct terrorist activities here in the United States. Department of Homeland or uh, Department of State just re- released an entire worldwide warning to all Americans traveling abroad saying that it is dangerous for any American to be traveling anywhere in the world right now with the amount of terrorist cells that have now been activated. Yeah. Fuck. 